everybody, CW here. Another project. This is a quick one. This is a magazine from my Hawa Mini. Uh, and this is the one from the Arc, the one that hasn't worked great for whatever reason. The Thankfully, I bought a couple of these extra when I bought the Grendel. And the Grendel mags, although identical, just older, work fine. This one kind of was funky. So I had an idea. One of the things I don't care for about it is the fact that it hangs down so low. So it goes up into the into the rifle, almost to this line. And I've been reading about guys who have cut the bottom off and put the foot back on this seam and made a shorter mag that, that only sticks down, you know, just about like that. So that's what we're going to do today. It's as simple as disassembling, cutting off, filing to fit this. And I think you got to remove some of this front piece here so that the front can slide by it. But, uh, so let's, uh, let's do that. See how it works out. The bottom foot here is a lot thicker. So we're going to make up for that distance. I'll show you what I mean by thicker. We're going to make up the distance of that thickness by letting your magazine pop in your face. <laughs> the thickness here by coming down a little bit and leaving a little bit of plastic there. So that the plastic I, plastic I leave down will rub on the inside or make up the difference from that thickness there. Well, that's how the factory one is. See how it's smooth in the front? So we're going to take this off in the front and just leave the sides in the back. This will come on. It's held on by the, the follower right here with this little dingus. So when the magazine is in the fire in the... When the floor plate is in the magazine, it comes up and it snaps into there. It doesn't let it remove. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to see. Maybe I'll polish up these sides a little bit in case it's dragging. But what we're going to get, we're going to get a little bit of increased spring pressure. Because we're taking away about an inch of compression. Or we're adding an inch of compression to the spring. So before when it was like this, sitting normally. Now it's going to be sitting like this normally. So we're going to get a little more compression. And in 223, it still held five. I think we're going to end up with four, but that's fine. I, it, that, that, that's fine. Even if it only held three, it'd be fine. Let's, uh, let's do that. See what we get. Stand by. All right, let's get our soft jaws in the vise. We don't have to clamp anything hard, but we want to make sure we're not going to destroy the plastic magazine and then we're going to clamp it in here and we got to be careful we don't cut crooked it's easy to cut crooked so I'm going to make a couple of cuts and I'm going to do it with a with a hacksaw and we're going to leave a little bit extra material so that we can file it file it off so I just want to make sure we're straight. So I'm going to cut all the way through here. In the back. Okay, we cut all the way through. So we know we got a good, good cut here. And then we're going to cut all the way through the front. In about the same, about the same position. And then we'll cut each side the same way. I hesitate to go all the way down because, like I said, it can walk. And we don't want to have to have that problem. And let's see if this will work. It should. It's just going to be a little bit difficult to, to hold. But we should be able to get this to be okay. I'm going to cut through the first rib. the second rib. Try and keep it lined up on our 
our existing slots. Again, we're gonna we're doing this with extra material left so that we can file it down. Hopefully I've gotten enough. Going nice and easy here. And you can see it's bending down a little bit because I hesitate to clamp it so much that it comes apart. Now there's one side, now let's do the last side. You don't want to break the magazine, it's only plastic. Okay, so we'll line up on the front and the back. Do the same thing, just get it started here. Hopefully you get it pretty even. You don't want to destroy a, a good magazine, so that's why we're using this one, because it's kind of suspect already, and if it does get screwed up, no real big no real big loss because it didn't work great anyway okay so there we go there's there it is all cut off and it's pretty pretty even we're not worried about the burrs yet because we got more work to do we're gonna have to take a little bit off here let's see if this is even close where do we got to be we got to come in from the back so yeah we're still we're too thick which is good that's good. But I don't want to be so much that we got a mountain to file off. So let's get this front. Let's get this front piece removed. Get a file. Stand by. I wanted a fairly aggressive file. Now, I don't have to take the whole thing off. We only have to take off enough that this clears. So we're only gonna take off that, you know, that about that much. And I could do this with a Dremel, but it's only plastic. And there's not that much we're taking off, so it shouldn't be that big a deal. And this is a pretty aggressive file. As long as we keep it clean, it should cut. Cut this pretty quick. And we're halfway or more through it already. And as we get down to the bottom, I'm going to switch over to the. We're getting close enough now. This one might be a little too fine. And I think it's a little too fine. We're almost there. Probably enough. Enough that I can stop. And just clean up the burrs. Okay. Now... We've got to do the same thing on these little nubs. These little nubs have to, I believe they have to go. Do they have to go? Maybe they don't have to go. No, they don't have to go. No, they don't have to go. We're just going to take this down. So let's get some of this. burrs off here. Actually, they don't matter. The burrs don't matter out there yet because we are not to final length. We'll worry about the burrs get to final length. Because we may take them off completely just with our filing that we're doing here for, for length. Was part of our soft spice. I want to be careful here 
because it comes off pretty quick and we don't want to take too much. We only want to take what we need. Be careful you're filing evenly. Spin things around. Because you, you apply force and you're going to file crookedly if you're not careful. So look at what you got as you go. And see what you're getting. Doesn't really matter this burr because it's going to be inside the the bottom piece. Piece. All right, I can see we're high over here. place that we're high. I don't want to go too much. I want to keep this snug, but not too snug. It causes problems. I'm doing this in real time, so you can see this is not something that takes excessive amount of time to do. We're probably only going to be five minutes here doing this. back with a smaller file. See, it's fitting better. Come back with a smaller file after. And even this all out. I think this side is going to be low, so we don't want to go too much over there. And I'm just eyeballing. That goes on, but it doesn't actually feel too bad. That will probably go together right now. And that's that's pretty much it. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take these uh, burrs off. Where did my the jaw go? I don't know. I lost it. I'll have to find it after the video. But I'll just get a different file here. Take these burrs off inside here. Let me get that file. Stand okay. By. Back on the bench over here. Let's reassemble and see how things are. See how things are here. Um, do I have to put this in here? I think so. All right, so that goes in there. This goes in here. This side goes up. Here. Now let's just relocate our pin where it's supposed to go in here. A little bit stiff. I don't like how stiff that is. It's not centered well. Oh, it's crooked. I thought it was binding. The spring is binding.
I don't think it's specifically because the extra coils are in there. I think it's just these corner steps. Just doesn't want to be square. It will come square. Just wants to be ornery. Yeah, it just wants to be ornery. I'm taking you off. I'm gonna swear at it a little bit. Stand I by. Discovered the, and this thing is gonna just be the death of me. If it would just stay in, it would be grand. Okay. The magazine spring is hitting the sides of these bolsters and then it binds when it comes back up. So now it should be okay once I get it to come over into the proper position. I may need something sharper than this screwdriver to pull it over. You'd think it it would just snap over, but of course it won't it won't do that. So it's going to be a problem. Let me swear at it a little bit more. Same tipping, way. see it's crooked in there, and it's crooked because these rails that are on the side, the spring is too wide. It's not because there's too many coils. Even if I take this apart, the spring is wider than the foot. So it's it's like it needs to be pinched. So let me see if I can pinch the spring coils a little bit. Okay, I got it licked. I'm gonna see if you can see here. See those little nibs? There's a nib there and a nib there. All I did was I went in and I reduced it by about, about its thickness. So maybe a slight, a heavy 16th on each side. So that now when this goes in, it can sit down just a little bit more, just a little bit farther. What was happening was it was binding. It would go that far and be square. And when I pushed it down further, it would cock sideways. All right, now I got a spring that's, a spring end that's popping up. It would cock sideways. So now when I put this in, I just had it together, so it should go back together again. I put this in like that. Now it comes a lot closer. Bang, just like it should. So there we go. There is a shortened magazine. Let's try it in the gun and see if we didn't ruin anything. Should I be fine. Much, much nicer, smoother, shorter, won't hang down. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so here's our rifle. So no ammo or anything on a bench, so we're all clear. Here is the, the magazine that I use with it, the one that was not trimmed. This is the one we just trimmed up. And this is how it works. It goes in here and the little latch in the front grabs it. It goes click and there it is. And you see how far down it falls. That's why I don't really care for it. Let me make sure you can see. Yeah, you can see everything I want to see, want you to see. And then you just pull down on this and out it comes. Now this is a different latch than what they make now. And this is a different match, a latch than the old ones. The old one just had a little thing that stuck out. And every time you brushed your hand against it, you would knock the mag out. So this one here is on a different level. So now you have to pull it instead of push it to drop your mag. And it's a lot better because when you push your hand against it, you're pushing it. You're not releasing the mag. You have to pull it. So this is a much better improvement. And they fixed it on the new ones. They're even different. Do I have one here? I think I have one here. Yeah, I have it right here. Here's the new one. And it's, it's also got a pull lever. And it's a little little different shaped. This one sits down on top. This one's metal, this one's plastic. And the original one was this. So you just brush your hand against this, run your hand down the stock, boom, and your mag falls out. So you can see what a piss poor design that was. And this is the newer ones. This is actually the one that came on this. This is the six arc. And it's much, much better. But this one here, I still like even better. Just a little bit better to get a hold of. It's got a stiffer spring than this one. And it's an improvement. Anyway, I digress. So, 
let's take our magazine that we just altered and put up in here and it doesn't click it comes like most maybe 25 percent of the way so what we have to do is or what i have to do is pull this plate back off and i'm going to sand the top of this plate so that it just goes up in there just a few thousands more and there's plenty of meat plenty of meat on these claws so there's not going to be a problem so let me go do that off camera and i'll come back and uh We'll fight putting it together again, and we'll look at it and make it click together. Stand by. Got it back together. I just put it on a orbital sander. Touched it a few times. And not quite. It's better. I almost can't pull it out now, so it's better. Well, let's do just a little bit more. There's plenty of meat there. I'm not worried about making it too, too thin, and it, it appears to be all the way around or maybe not so much in the back maybe it's just in the front so uh i'll, I'll focus on the front stand by okay if i a little bit more i focused on the front more but i kept it pretty even there's still quite a bit of meat there i'm not really worried there's quite a bit of meat grabbing grabbing those edges and that's all I did was just file that mostly on the front edge. Let's see how it works. Oh, look at there. Perfect. So now it's nice and flush. I should load up some dummies. I wonder if I have any Grendel dummy ammo. Let's see if yeah, I have any. My six arc dies. I should have. Yeah, I got a couple of dummies in here. These are uh, dummies I use for seat and bullets for setting up the dies. So let's, uh, no powder, no primers. We can also see how many bullets we can fit now in the magazine. Let's look at that first. So it looks like it's two. So we got three rounds, two in the magazine, one in the chamber. That may not be a good option for some of you. So just know, with cartridges that are fat like the 7.62 by 39 and the six millimeter Grendel, six millimeter arc and 6.5 Grendel, you're gonna be removing enough magazine material that it's gonna only be two rounds. Now, if you played with your spring, possibly trimming the spring, possibly you could get one more in there, but I'm it's it's not close, so. I'm going to say you're going to make a two round mag right in, right in the chamber. See, feeding is fine. Works perfect. I'm not going to do another one. I'm going to leave these full length, but this will be nice. If I go hunting with it, I'll be able to have a nice, slim, thin, flat magazine. Won't grab, won't stick out. Looks a little better. There we go. Quick and easy. You saw the whole thing. God bless everybody. CW out.